here we go. What's going on everybody? What is going on today? It's Dale the airbrush guy. Good old spicy toothpaste is in here and Liv, AKA Liz, AKA put me on the tripod. What's going on? Let's just start painting. Hope everyone had a great 2021 so far. Happy second birthday, Kamisha. That's what's going on right here. Happy 22nd. I don't know what I said. Let's go 22nd birthday. clean this airbrush out it's been sitting for a few days lots of comments coming in i <laughs> like the thumbnail that was from snapchat i figured i'd do something a little different goofy little face i find that the thumbnails that just in general thumbnails on youtube that have a face in them uh, tend to respond tend to work out better so i'm gonna start doing that a little bit see how it works out i never liked showing my face a whole lot but uh I can't hide it so there it is birthday is kind of goofy text let's do the name make sure this airbrush is going smooth k-a-m-i-s-h-a Kind of fix up these letters a little bit. And then we'll put a shadow on them and they'll look fine. Wow, this is kind of sketchy. It'll be okay. That's what I get for not warming up at all over the weekend. We got some graffiti style text. People have been yelling at me for saying graffiti style. People have been saying stuff like there's no such thing as a graffiti style. Everybody's graffiti is different. And I understand that. I mean, everyone's style is different, but the point is like, by graffiti style, I mean not script cursive lettering. I mean like blocky, bubbly, bigger graffiti style letters. You know what I mean? You can't, it is, you can't yell at me. Black and pink. Your new name is Dale is Dill. Dale is Dill. Like a pickle? I mean, I feel like I'm a kind of a big dill. <laughs> My cousin's style is bubble letters. I like bubble letters. I like to do a lot of different styles of bubbly blocky letters. I'd like doing really big round ones sometimes, which I guess the bubble letters would, would come to, but I also like doing really chiseled, sharp letters. Sometimes I'll mix it up and do a word with both of those styles in there. And those are kind of fun. The nice part about doing small shirt orders like this is that I get to take each one as its own opportunity to try something new. I don't have to work forever on a piece. I get to spend 10, 15 minutes on one and try a new style, finish it to completion, and then move on and try something else on the next shirt. Black and pink are the colors, obviously, on this design. And something goes on the back too. I'm gonna turn it around and do that in just a second. Space says I just got an airbrush from my mom on my 16th birthday. I'm having fun learning how to airbrush. That's awesome, man. Everybody should be trying something new. Airbrushing is awesome trades. I, I got started airbrushing at 17, 17, 18, something like that. So 
You're right in line with where I was even earlier. That's awesome. You'll pick it up quick and you'll just get better and better if you stick to it. Uh, 22, baby. I'm gonna do 22 in bu bubbly letters. Let's do the whole thing in, in some graffiti letters because they're fun and that's what we're here for. Very lightly gonna sketch out the bones of the letter so I know where everything's going. This is a little regulator attached to the hose that I can control the pressure from. Pretty sweet. Where am I from? I am close to 90k subs and I'm stoked about it. I'm from Virginia. US, East Coast. Um, what am I doing here? Kind of a weird style. I don't like that at all. I'm gonna get some, man, that's kind of goofy. Some white in clean up this line a little bit. Then we're gonna fill it in with pink and we're gonna move on to the next thing. Happy New Year, everybody. Am I still using the S62 a little bit? Um, where'd you go? This is it. No, it's not. Um, to be honest with you, I might have taken it out of the lineup. The S62 was a good airbrush. It's a great starter airbrush. It's the master airbrush he's talking about. Um, it is a great starter airbrush, but it, is made out of some cheaper metal so once you start cleaning it a few times it does uh i don't know it's just harder to work with a little bit you wouldn't notice as a beginner airbrush artist i don't think but after a while you stop getting that precision that it came with in the beginning it starts to kind of deteriorate a little tiny bit still a great airbrush for the price still something that's awesome to to learn with um, but like any hobby, you'll want to upgrade to to some better equipment if you start getting interested in it. What I've been liking more recently is this No Name Airbrush. Um, there's a actually there's not a link in my description, but there will be soon. Um, you can go to SprayGunner.com and find those. Um, they're just like the Omnis, which is what I've always used. Um, very similar about the same price point, but they seem to spray a higher volume of paint. They spray a lot harder, which I like as a graffiti artist. not use the Badger Anthem. Hey Sergeant, I'm doing well. How are you doing? Lots of, lots of I'm trying to catch up. Happy New Year everybody. Hulk is proclaiming his graffiti status again, as always. Let's do this little onesie, this cute little guy. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Okay, pink and yellow, N-A-L-A. -A. Let's do some really cute bubbly letters. I like to make the first and last letters a lot bigger because it kind of frames in everything. I'm gonna sketch them out a little bit.
need to do those first lines. Could have just done them in black. What kit would you suggest for the cleaning? As far as cleaning airbrushing goes, I usually just use water. I just take the bottle off and spray water through it. And if that's not enough, I spray some alcohol through it. Um, I don't really use any tools. I use the needle itself to clean. And if I really need to, I've got some, um, there's a little kit of brushes and these wires which work, but I, I rarely ever use these. I don't think I've actually ever used this set. Um, water is your friend. If you clean it while it's still wet and not waiting until the paint dries, they're not difficult to clean at all. I'm gonna, um, I had to hide Hulk, everybody. Um, he's been um, spamming every stream. I've been hesitant to because of what he's saying, but uh, he's not adding anything to this channel. He's just saying the same thing over and over. So, I just muted him. Indefinitely. Thank you, Sergeant. I appreciate the support and optimism. Um. A little hard up there. Wow, I appreciate that, so I didn't certainly do not have to. But that's very kind of you. The coolest thing you could do is be a member for two dollars a month. So that's real cheap and it's kinda kinda cool. Yeah, I do have channel membership if anybody wants to, to help support for $2. It's really neat. Hey, the bag we did with the skunk design, does it come in different colors? The bag itself does come in some different colors. Uh, there's that gray one. White, like a neon green and pink and a royal blue. Um, let me do this real quick. I'm gonna put those bags on the site because they're fun to paint. And it's cool because I don't have to stock a bunch of different sizes of them. I can just have the one bag. Um, I'm probably going to push mostly the gray ones. I don't like painting on colors as much. I like to paint on white and gray. Um, all right, the ham project. This is a mock-up for a customer. Which I probably have to do a couple of, but I'm only going to do one right now.
spray paint artist, but my mom got me an airbrush to widen my horizon. That's a good mom. That's a good mom. Spray paint is awesome. I love to do more spray paint, um, but airbrushing is a lot more approachable. Um, besides the initial investment, it's a lot cheaper to do airbrush. It's easier because you can do it inside. You don't have to be outside. Um, you get to paint a lot smaller with the spray paint. You gotta paint pretty big to get any kind of detail. With the airbrush, I can paint this size and much smaller and I still get the same detail. And it's a lot easier to become a professional airbrush artist as far as like making a living off of it. So it's really fun. You should definitely broaden your horizons in that direction. Um, I'm gonna leave this like it is for now. How's Noah? Noah's good. Noah is taking a nap right now. A little tot tot. Let's do these guys. This one says, this is a A Fizzle Productions. Okay, this is, this is A Fizzle Productions. A Fizzle is gonna graffiti style. Um, I, need a, I need a light blue. Here's a light blue. A Fizzle. Capital A dash This is where it all comes goes down. The black lines, the solid lines, are like the most satisfying part of a graffiti piece. But I think the first lines are the most enjoyable to me. Sketching out the design, I think that's the most fun part. This is all in the works, no guarantee yet, but I believe I'll be flying to California in the next couple of weeks to teach some very experienced graffiti artists how to airbrush and make a really super dope video about the whole process and use that as like the base video for like how to airbrush targeted towards graffiti artists who know how to do graffiti teaching you how to use an airbrush um, so I'm super stoked for that I don't really like that Z I can't really do anything about it that's gonna be really awesome first of all I get to fly on airplanes which I like to fly on airplanes And I get to meet other real-life artists that know what they're doing. 
which is not something I get to do often. And he's gonna give me some tips on how to use spray cans better because that's an area that I struggle with. A little knowledge trade, if you will. Or if you want, anyway. Simple drop shadow. I'm not going to get too elaborate on any of the lighting on these pieces because they're supposed to be simple. A fizzle. The Z's kind of are weird. They're kind of weird. What do you guys think? I appreciate that. You spread the word far and wide. All right. Um, this is on top and cursive. A Fizzle Productions. because drop shadows are cool. airbrushing as well that's a good spot to be in because you are in the right place to transition your graffiti skills into airbrush skills all this is is a miniature spray can with a lot more precision so instead of just pushing the trigger down on and off you get to push it down and then control how much paint comes out other than that's the same thing develop some muscle memory and a little bit of technique and you will do I'm a little bit biased when I say this but I think you'll be a much better airbrush artist uh, than a graffiti artist because you have a lot more control with an airbrush and I say it to everybody because I don't know imagine painting but you can only use a paint roller and then one day someone gives you precision paint brushes and you're like oh wow look at all the stuff I can do now I already got good with this paint roller. Now look at the ability I have to create more detailed pieces. I'm out of paint. Sometimes if you hold the bottle just right, you get a little more paint out of it. That'd be fun. Light highlights. You're the reason I start want to start doing what you're doing. That's awesome. That's very encouraging to hear. Um, it's not that, especially since I assume you already have a good amount of graffiti skill or artistic skill if you're a graffiti artist. Um, taking that and translating it into airbrush is not going to be difficult. It's the same principles, right? You already got the art down. And to anybody that wants to learn how to do airbrushing, uh, start by just drawing what you know. 
start by airbrushing the things that you already know how to draw. Um, so, simple shapes, whether it's letters or characters or whatever it is that you do, you do that with an airbrush. And all you have to do is, is then learn the tool first, and then you can start developing different styles and techniques with that tool. But just like learning instruments, if you already know how to play the piano, picking up how to play the guitar is so much easier. And I don't know how to play either of those, so I'm assuming <laughs> I'm assuming that's the case, based on what I've heard. Very soon I will have some links to some airbrush kits put together, some starter kits. Uh, right now I don't have a good link. You can go to my Amazon shop and buy that master airbrush, but um, soon I'm going to have a link to some professional quality stuff all put together in a kit for you. Um, I've tried to do that many times and I've done that many times, but availability either dies out so you can't actually buy the kit anymore or people fall through on me, or I change my mind. Let me read these comments for a minute. What kind of airbrush am I using? That This is, the one I have most of, is the Omni 3000 airbrush by Badger. That's what I've used for a very long time. I really like it. And now recently, I have gotten this airbrush. This is a new one from, no, from spraygunner.com. It's their brand, made by the same people that make Iwata airbrushes, but it's a different brand. It's called the No Name Airbrush. That's the brand of it, it's No Name. Um, it's a very nice airbrush. It's just like the Omnis. It sprays a lot of paint really heavily. And uh, if you're a t-shirt artist, if you're a graffiti artist, then it's a really good one to start with. I'm trying to put my skills to legal use now, that's definitely a something I've heard a lot of is I'm a graffiti artist I've been a graffiti artist for 30 40 75 years or whatever and uh, looking into getting the airbrushing so I can continue doing what I love to do and that's exactly what you can do with the airbrushes take those skills that you have and translate them into something legal and fun and much cheaper and easier to continue to do this one another a fizzle right now we have a fizzle on top in cursive and EST 1990 in graffiti. Um, I'm going to mix a custom color of paint because because I want to. Maybe this actually will work just fine. Oh, it's chunky. I'm throwing this away. Boop. Um, I got way too many bottles here. Baby blue. There. Sorry to shake paint with my camera arm. I'm sure that just gave you guys all a headache. And I want a little bit of a darker tint to it. That'll probably be fine. tattoo artist but always wanted to jump into airbrushing they always you get the holder for the airbrush these guys are just PVC pipes Boop, PVC with holes drilled in them um, I think they're they're half inch holes and they're spaced two inches apart in my case they don't have to be exactly that far apart for you but that's what I have them at 
and it works great. You just throw the airbrush in there backwards. Like so. It only works really for bottom fed, bottle fed airbrushes. If you have a gravity fed airbrush like these, um, then they can they can fall over and then that's a bad a bad situation unless the hose is attached. So it's best for, for bottle siphon fed airbrushes. Alright. What am I doing here? EST nineteen ninety on the bottom with some script text on top. tool to use a stick and an airbrush bottle that was just a I think it's a vinyl a vinyl picker weeder it's just a pokey thing um, you can use a needle any kind of needle an airbrush needle you get replacement needles all the time you bend one keep that around use it for cleaning and stuff like that you could use a nail I mean anything it's just a metal poker. Something that's different between 
typical spray can graffiti art and airbrush art is you see them doing the outlines first instead of the fills. I get a lot of uh, salt, salty people commenting about that because they're real graffiti artists and they know how you're supposed to do it and I'm doing it wrong. And uh, the truth is airbrushing is different in the way that the paint behaves. Airbrush paint isn't completely opaque. Um, some of airbrush paint is, and you can get opaque paint, but typically, and especially on a trans or a, a absorbent material like a t-shirt, your paint doesn't layer directly on top of other paint and cover it up like spray paint does. Um, you can layer colors together, you can blend them. The paint's transparent, and instead of completely covering it, it the point is, I can fill this in with blue after I've done the, the black outlines, and it's not going to cover up those outlines. And for me personally, I like to work on the first lines first and then the outlines and then do my fills because sometimes my fills are, it's easier for me to be able to do those fills and get creative with how I'm doing them after I've already put the outlines in place. And that's just my preference. Um, but with the spray can, you wouldn't be able to do that. And that kind of prevents me, it doesn't prevent me. It help, It hinders my ability to use spray cans because I do like to work this way and I can't with spray cans. So that's something that I'm learning. Um, a fizzle again on top this time in cursive I'm using opaque blue here, which again, still isn't completely opaque, but it is a lot thicker than normal paint, which makes it harder to spray. Sometimes it gets clogged up. See, even though this is a completely opaque paint, I can paint right over these black lines. And it tints them a little bit, but it doesn't get rid of them. Transparent paint, which is what I almost always use, you wouldn't even tell that they're over the black lines. Yeah, this paint is too thick. I don't want to deal with this issue right now. Kind of have to.
Really? Please paint peekaboo. Are my paints pre-mixed? Most of my paints are pre-mixed. Um, you saw me just put together this color, but um, usually I work straight out of the bottle. I got a bottle for every color in my very fancy cardboard box of organization. Um, yeah, usually it's just straight out the bottle. Sometimes I'll add some reducer to it. This 4011 Createx reducer is my favorite. Um, you can, there's no such thing, and probably is a such thing, but there's, I'm gonna say there's no such thing as paint that's been reduced too much. I like my paint very thin and runny. I like to be able to layer colors on top of each other all the time. And that's just how I like to work. Um, so let me paint this shirt. I'm gonna move it there after I make a mess all over my hands. Please paint duck. Wait. Okay. Do, 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 do. That should be enough room. This is a big old 6XL shirt. I'm beginning. This is this guy. This is this guy. And then next we'll do this hat. I think this hat will be fun. It's very simple. It's just just a throw up design. Actually, it's not a throw up. It's a tag. What are you streaming next? I have no idea. Not a clue. I'm sure I'll stream this week again. L U Z. Super simple. I wish airbrushes came in like a flare tip. That'd be sweet. I need an engineer to make that happen. You can basically have different caps for an airbrush. You just gotta get a different air cap. It comes apart, it's a little tiny part right here. You could, you could hypothetically have a different shaped one. Um, navy blue. Do I have a navy blue out here? This is a, a navy blue, I think. That's pretty navy bluish. Is there an issue with shrinking the shirt? Um, I'm not a... Sh no, shrink shirts don't. I mean, it depends on the shirt, right? That's not an airbrush question. That's just a t-shirt question. Um, I use pre-shrunk shirts, so my shirts aren't gonna shrink. Somebody else's might. And the shirts are washable after you airbrush them. I set the paint with heat, about 350 degrees of heat for like 20 to 30 seconds. Uh, cures the paint into the fibers so that it doesn't wash out. Um, the biggest problem that you're going to have is fading, and that comes from drying the shirt, really, because uh, the paint itself isn't washing out. It's the fibers of the shirt washing away. That lint that you get from the dryer, um, that is your shirt deteriorating, uh, and the paint goes with it. Um, so that's one of the reasons I paint at high pressure is because it really shoves that paint into the depths of the fabric so it doesn't fade away so easy. Um, but if you care for your shirts properly, I recommend you wash them in cold water and it's best to let them hang dry, but no one does that. Um, even if you put them in the dryer, just put them in the dryer inside out, let them uh, low heat. They'll last for years. They'll last just as long as any digitally printed shirt does. Not a problem. Too many cooks spoil the broth. Do -do -do. Nice, will a heat press work? Yes, that's exactly what I use. Can I order a shirt? Yes, the website mentioned. Uh, Airbrush Customs, you can just Google that. 
for it's in the description. Um, I also opened up my Etsy shop again. I closed it for for Christmas. I couldn't keep up with everything. So I opened it back up. So you can find me there too. Usually my Etsy customers aren't like deliberate Dale customers. They're just customers browsing Etsy and they're like, oh, this guy's so cool. So they don't really know me. Because if you do know me and you want to buy a shirt, you end up at my real website, not on Etsy. What's up, Holly? Do, 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 do. Yeah, if you can hang dry them, it's better. But it, it's fine either way. All right, let's do this hat. This hat's what I've been looking forward to. It's gonna be fun. Move, shirt. Ugh. What time is it? 2.30. Yeah, this will be the last thing I paint, and then I'm gonna hop off here. I have a phone call scheduled. About a portent business matters. I need my sit down device. I'm gonna put it right there. Do, do, do. Happy New Year's. When will I stream next? Probably sometime this week, but I don't know for sure. Alright, now that I'm sitting, let me make sure my camera is sitting in an appropriate spot. I think it's fine. We're looking at a green and blue fill. I'm gonna run out of paint. Whoa. Thank you, Rob. That's awesome, man. Rob is the MVP of the day. Dude, I'm very, thank you so much, man. That's awesome. I love having the support. <laughs> thank you, dude. They'll just commit bottle abuse. It's fine. I'll put it in his place later. I'll tuck him in. Okay. Um, what am I writing? S-K-O-L-A. I'm gonna take my time when this one's gonna be fun. Way too much pressure. Thank you so much, Rob. If you're looking to support me and um, aren't balling like Rob, just dropping like $25, I don't know what it is in US dollars. Um, my channel memberships are only $2 a month. And that's just like continued $2 support, which is easier to bite off. And it tells me that you think I'm cool. Makes me feel better about myself. <laughs> it helps me to continue to make these videos and not just these live streams, but like attentional videos. Again, I'll share this cool news that I'm excited about, hypothetically. I'm gonna be flying to California to teach some graffiti artists how to airbrush and like make a whole video about that and I think that's going to be a great tool for all of the, the graffiti artists that watch me that want to know how to airbrush um, I, that's a big part of my audience is experienced graffiti artists that are curious about what an airbrush is and this opportunity is perfect to try to to, uh, to, to teach that so I'm super stoked about that Okay, hopefully this turns into something legible. In just a second here. On a scale from one to really annoying, how annoying is my squeaky chair that I'm sitting on? That's not even making noise now. 
I never notice it while I'm painting, but then I'll go back and watch a video, and all I can hear is this chair making a bunch of noise. You are welcome, Holly. I bought her Clip Studio for Christmas, and she has been killing it with some digital art. Thank you, man. Awesome. So much from support from you guys. It's honestly the only reason I keep doing this and have not just like, I don't know, stayed in a hole and continued to paint shirts is because of the support that I get from you guys. Um, not just monetarily, but like encouragement and the comments and the, hey, you encouraged me to, you inspired me kind of support from you guys has made me really want to continue to make this content and make it better. You know, that's, I would not be doing it if it was you guys. That said, um, because it is <laughs> about learning and about you guys, if you ever have feedback, positive or negative, um, especially negative, honestly, let me know and share that with me um, so that I can improve and change things. You're never gonna hurt my feelings. Um, I'm pretty resilient. You let me know what I'm doing wrong, and I will do my best to either explain why it is that way, or change it, or both. Please do send me that stuff. Hey, Liv, welcome back. I'd like to see what you've been creating. If anybody else wants to share some artwork, hit, uh, hit up the Discord server. There's a link in the description uh, for a Discord channel. You're welcome to join and talk about airbrush stuff, talk about art stuff in general, and share your work with a small but growing and encouraging community. Without the main lines, could you try more of a full shadow type of review? Yes, I know what you're talking about. Um, that's something that I do want to do. It's something that's a lot more difficult for me because I had never worked that way. Um, maybe that's why I like doing the outlines first. Um, but you're talking about having like a realistically shadowed and lit, it's lit, lit piece with like, I know, I know what you're saying, uh, yes. That is oh, in an area that I need to challenge myself in. And something that I'm looking forward to being able to do much more easily because I love that style of graffiti. I hate this song. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do some of that. I'm hoping some of those techniques are what I can pick up from my trip coming up. In exchange for their airbrush knowledge, they're going to teach me how to use cans. 
and this spring I'm gonna be a spray can artist. I'm gonna start going outside, find somewhere to paint. Start using some cans some more. I feel like what, what better way could I um, give myself some credibility to graffiti artists saying that airbrushing is cool than to also be good at using cans. So I'm gonna. I should use light. My favorite cans are Dane cans. I've never heard of Dane cans. What part of Cal are you going to? I'm not, actually I'm not sure. Um, Machine Studios, I think it's Machine Studios. I think that's what his name is. Machine, I know it's Machine, I think it's Machine Studios. He is the, the shop I'm going to. I don't know if he's on YouTube, I know he's on Instagram and TikTok. I hope you like money. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Thank you, dude. More support than the same. I mean, if, if your hobby is to just keep on putting money in the channel, then you've come to the right place. Thank you, dude. You got any feedback for me? I mean, you got, if you're interested in the channel, you have a, a position where you are allowed to tell me what I'm doing wrong. Lights. Man, the amount of support today is ridiculous. Whenever you're feeling generous, just come on, stop on by. <laughs> I'm kidding. Thank you so much, dude. Taking my time, I'm enjoying what I'm doing. So I did what I said I was gonna do. I kept up with what my kept up with my word, and I've slowed down all the orders. I didn't stop taking orders altogether, uh, but I've slowed down the orders that I'm taking. I'm dealing with a, a few select clients that I worked with in the past. And the reason for that is so I can spend a lot more time making these videos. Um, and the support that I'm getting here and continuing to happen is what's going to allow me to, to do that. And I'm really stoked to make some, I already, like I already said several times, I got some in the works. Some really fun videos are coming soon. Um, some really content I'm excited about at least. Hey Don, what's going on man? Welcome. I want to see you paint a black shirt. Okay. Um, I'm probably not going to do that right now. I don't have a black shirt to paint at the moment. But, I'll paint one soon for you. I need to... Is it looking dope and fresh yet? Or whatever they say. What do the kids say now? 
have your thought of tattoo-ish painting? I've had people ask me for a lot of many times if I do tattoos. I've never done a tattoo. Um, I have designed a few tattoos. Actually busted out a tattoo gun that my father-in-law gave me. Um, for the first time the other day to, to see what it was all about and just practice for a second. Um, I need to watch a video or something and see how it all works because apparently I wasn't using it properly. I would like to try it one day. I want to try everything one day. I'll, I like to master something and then move on to the next thing. And then come back and <laughs> go in circles. I'm pretty much done with this. I think it's good. Oh, I forgot. There is a main part of this that I have to include. It's like a lightning going through the design. And the lightning is going to be white, but I already did white highlights. So I need to tint those highlights down a little bit so that the lightning will stand out. I'm going to use a green on the bottom and turn those white highlights into just some light green highlights. And then turn the blue highlights, or white highlights, and blue highlights. One step at a time. And you're in tattoo land. I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow between these colors. Check this out before I put this white down. Isn't it cool? Alright, white lightning. I'm gonna get real close to get some sharp lines. I'm gonna continue all the way through, even through the the black lines. No, I won't. Maybe I won't. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna make sure my lightning doesn't intersect any, like, overly saturated, confusing parts of the lettering because I don't want it to take away from the legibility. I want it to play along nicely with the existing composition. Dale didn't know you had a second TikTok account. Um, I don't have a second TikTok account. I might have one that I haven't posted on. I know I have like a personal one, but I don't post anything on it. Um, I do have a second Instagram account, if that's what you're thinking. I have Airbrush Customs I claimed on a different account because that's a, Kind of a valuable name in the, the airbrush the t-shirt world but i don't have a second tiktok account if someone is posting my stuff i'm gonna be salty about it and then i'm gonna get over it quickly i think that's fine yeah i'm gonna do what i said i was gonna do in my head I'm going to go over the black lines again and erase these highlights because I don't like them.
I appreciate the, the compliment. I forgot the word for compliment. I appreciate it, guys. I have the reason everything looks so smooth and it looks like I'm enjoying myself is because I am. This is one of my favorite things to do. The, got lucky enough to make a job out of what I enjoyed and I just ran with it. And now I'm trying to teach other people how to do it so they can find something cool to do as well. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty much done here today. I've already done all my orders that I have set aside to paint today at least. I do wanna show you guys this cool shirt in a black light. This one probably glows too. I don't know how it looks on the camera. I guess it looks fine. Just a cool bonus for everybody here. Hey, I'm glad my phone didn't, or my camera didn't die. It's almost dead. Yeah, UV paints are sweet. So, there's that. But, I'm done here for today. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I still got some work to do on some things, but I'm gonna do that after the stream. Um, thank you for all of the support that we got today. We got like a bunch of donations and, and whatnot. Thank you for doing that. If you wanna be a member to support the channel, it's $2 a month and it really helps. Um, but if you can't and don't want to, that's absolutely fine. I look forward to seeing you guys next time in the stream and hanging out with you again. Um, have a great day. God bless you all. I love you. And I will see you later.